The team and I spent the summer traveling all over Saskatchewan, connecting with people in all corners of our province, and we heard your concerns. And I share many of those same frustrations. Healthcare, cost of living, cuts to classrooms, lost opportunity for this generation and the next. And I heard frustrations about the federal government. Ottawa needs to deliver its share of healthcare funding and support industry and job creation here at home. Saskatchewan New Democrats will always stand up for you and will do the hard work to deliver for Saskatchewan people. Scott Moe is more interested in distraction, sowing division and pointing fingers than actually delivering results. Real leadership requires consistently standing up for Saskatchewan and our interests, be it on equalization or energy policy, regardless of who's in power in Ottawa. All summer, Scott Moe's Sask party has pushed division and distraction away from their own failures. And under Scott Moe's Sask party, thousands of people are leaving our province every month. Last month alone, 5,600 full-time jobs disappeared, all while businesses are struggling to fill positions. Standing up to the feds is important, but Scott Moe is not fighting to protect the jobs of Saskatchewan people. He's presenting this white paper to protect his own. Scott Moe is out of touch with what Saskatchewan people want and need, making life more affordable, making sure people can get the health care they need, and ensuring good jobs and opportunity in our province so that our kids see a bright future for themselves here at home. Standing up for Saskatchewan should be more than just a tagline. It's about actually delivering for the people of our province. Scott Moe's SAS party may have given up on that, but Saskatchewan New Democrats haven't. We see real opportunity and the potential for a bright future everywhere we go in this province. And we're committed to working with you to build that better future for this generation and the next.